St. Marcus. It's your friend, Mavi. Um, you know, from Charlotte. <laughs> Something I wish I knew when I was turning 18 is that everything that I have to do, I have to do. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of if the world tell me when to do it, when I know that I have to do something, gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? Something I wish I would have knew at 18 was seeing that school was actually easy as hell. I wish I would have knew that school was easy because life is truly hard. Like, you know, you got a roof over your head, you got food in your stomach, your parents taking care of you. All you got to do is just make good grades and just, you know, go home, do your homework, and then you straight. What did I wish I knew when I was 18, man? Like, I feel like there were so many things when I was 18 that I overthought. I overthought social interactions. I thought people, I didn't understand people when I was 18. Not that I'm perfect at it now, and I'm like some expert, but I was, I was putting way too much into people's perception of me and shit when I was 18. Like, I was like one of them niggas who thought, like, I gotta do this a certain way and shit like that. When it's like, bro, people don't give a fuck. When you're 18, it feels like people, it feels like people give a fuck when you 18. It can be, it can be sad if you want it to be sad. Like, oh, nobody gives a fuck. Or it can be the most liberating shit ever. Something that I wish I knew when I was turning 18 was probably that I should be as present as possible because 18 for me was personally a time where I was going through a lot of milestones in my life and I had a lot of really memorable nights and experiences where at the time I remember thinking that you know there's going to be a lot more of this in the future so I'm not going to get too caught up in the moment and then realizing way later that those times really stuck with me and you know now I'm 22 and like whenever I'm experiencing those memorable times I'm a lot more sensitive to it. I recognize it and I appreciate it so much more knowing how rare that can come. Something I'm glad I knew at 18 was I knew that I had talent, that I had something working for me already. So that was something that I was able to capitalize on when I got older. That my family loves me, you know what I'm saying? That they behind me. That I got a home, you know what I'm saying? Knowing that people care about me. Two things I always remember. Something that I'm glad I knew at 18 is probably gratuity. You know, being grateful and not taking things for granted because I feel like it came from just me growing up in Indonesia and like having all these amazing things happen to me with my career and like coming to America. And you know, my dad has just always instilled that thought on me since I was a kid. Just, you know, be grateful and like not take things for granted because all of this can be taken away from you just instantly. When I was 18, when I was 18, I knew I was that nigga. I will say that much, like on the music tip especially, it was like I knew like I had the utmost confidence. I was damn near more confident when I was 18. Like I was, like you couldn't tell me shit about shit when I was 18 as it pertained to this rap shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it was co it's so crazy listening back because I was so bad, but I was so sure of myself. The ignorance is bliss shit, where it's like I didn't, you know, I didn't know no better. So I thought, I thought some shit was something different than what it was. Um, and then what I would tell an 18 year old, man, I ain't got, I ain't got nothing for no nigga. You know what I'm saying? To be honest, I'm not the nigga to get your advice from because don't nobody fucking know shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm 27 years old and I feel like I'm fucking 18. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just like every step of this, every step of the way, it's like, man. You just learning some shit from somebody, from some like it's just non-stop learning. So I'm like, if I had to tell an 18 year old something, it would be like, man, don't stop fucking learning. Like, shit gonna feel like the end of the world right now because you 18. You know what I'm saying? Shit feel like the end of the world when you 18. It's like, oh, if I don't get this, oh, if I don't, that's how I felt when I was 18. But it's not like I feel, it's not like I feel different now. But what's different now is the experience of like knowing it's like shit moves on you kind of got to live through it you got to live through it you got to fuck up you know what i'm saying when i was 18 i was i was fucking up but i was trying to be perfect and what i would say is like bro cut that perfect shit out man we're not perfect there's no rules to this shit you know if you're if you're thinking about some shit that seems like far-fetched or whatever yeah, ain't no rules to this shit never been a person on the face of this planet who has progressed in life 
or become a staple in society by doing shit that they thought applied to the rules. Ain't no rules to this shit, you know? Um, so you think you grown, but you're not necessarily grown yet, but you gotta be grown enough, right? So take your time and, um, yeah, feel things, experience things, meet new people, go out, do shit. Do shit, do shit.